Right guys, welcome to an extremely cold workshop here in the UK. This video is probably going to be a short one, famous last words, um, we'll find out. About two years ago, my son-in-law was able to use the CNC machine where he worked and he made this name plaque for his daughter. Well, as most of you know, they've just given birth to their second daughter and unfortunately he's not able to use the CNC machine but has asked me if I can make another plaque. So obviously I'm not going to be able to do it in the same style of writing, but I'm going to have a go at using the templates that I've got and see if I can come up with a sign like this. So I've got my piece of 18mm MDF, which is the same material that was used for these. I've marked a line which is parallel to this edge and I know this piece is nice and square so all I'm going to do is line this plaque up with the line and then what I'm going to do is draw around it right so I've got my basic outline for the plaque so to cut the corners, I'm going to be using a hole saw. And if I hold the other name plaque up, you'll see that that perfectly fits. So hopefully I'm going to be able to eyeball it on this and make sure it's... And then I can just drill the hole and then finish off the straight cuts on the table saw. So you can see by doing it like that, I've ended up with perfect corners. Right, so off camera, I've played around using the letters and spaced them on the plaque how I want them. So what I've done, instead of using masking tape like I did on my last attempt, I've added a load of extra symbols on both ends and I've raised it off the bench and clamped the row of letters at both ends. So hopefully this should hold it in place. It seems to be fairly stable. And then I've clamped the actual workpiece to my bench to hold that in place. So I'm hoping by doing that, I won't get any resistance from the masking tape, which I may have got before. But it could go wrong, and it may not. We're about to find out.
So now because the A needs to be done in two passes, I need to remove A1. So hopefully I can get this out of here like that. Insert A2. So I've got a funny feeling, for some reason, that hasn't turned out as it should. Let's take it off and see what's happened. And that is what's happened. The centre of the A has come out. Right, so as I thought, when I was making the second pass on the A, this tiny bit in the middle has snapped off completely. And it might just be a weak point in the wood, or it might be that this MDF is just cheap rubbish. Or it could just be user error, but what I'm going to do, I'm not going to scrap the idea i'm gonna see if i can stick it back on in place you can just about make out where it's got to go so hopefully once i stick it in it should be all right
Right guys, there you go. That's the finished name plaque. So apart from the little mishap in the centre of the A, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I'm loving the little detail around the outside. I think having the little lip just adds to the overall finish. I'm going to leave it bare at the moment because I'm not sure if they're going to want to paint it. If it was for me, I'd probably have the letters black and then paint the rest of it a different colour. I think that would look quite nice. But as we're in a complete lockdown again, can't go out and get any paint. So it's going to have to stay plain for the minute. The good news is they've seen the sign. They're happy with it. And they've now decided they want me to make another sign with Emmy Ray on it. And that way, both name plaques will have the same font. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Right, well that's the two signs or name plaques now complete. There's the first one. And there's the second one. Well, I think you'll agree they turned out okay. So I did have to adjust the height of the plaque slightly because like an idiot, when I was cutting it down to its final size, I used the wrong line and ended up cutting this one narrower than the first one. So I basically just cut them both down to the same size and then redone the edges. And I actually made the lip slightly bigger, which I think looks quite nice. So one thing I will say is if I'm using these small letter stencils in the future i won't be using it on mdf because on both the signs the middle of the a actually broke out because the wood's too brittle um, i think if you were using hardwood it'd probably work a lot better and would probably look a lot nicer as well but i've only got the mdf at the moment which was why I used it. Right, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment, share with your friends. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, tap the little bell icon, and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So, until then, stay safe, and you will see me in the next video. Cheers for watching, guys. So, other, oh, one thing I've learned, what, like, other than the,